Hilton Head Island Elementary School for the Creative Arts, our goal as a staff is to promote higher order thinking skills with our students by making connections between the arts and academics using an integrated instructional approach. Children are naturally curious, so when given the opportunity to begin our unit experimenting with lights, students became problem solvers and scientists. They solve challenges such as change the path of the light and break the light apart into a different form. Being engaged in learning at the beginning of the unit made vocabulary more meaningful to the students and the students were eager to learn more about light. Program our robot to roll according to the degrees you just showed me. Fourth grade students are using lines of code or commands to create geometric shapes through art, helping them to understand angles and classify quadrilaterals. The robots are coded to paint the shapes, creating abstract art based on the concrete shapes. Students are also measuring the line segments of the shapes painted by the robot to find the perimeter and area of the quadrilaterals. Through coding and art, students are engaged in authentic learning, helping them to retain their understanding of the attributes of quadrilaterals. Not only will this help them for future designing using shapes, but also give them the computer science skills as they move into more complex coding and higher grade levels. What quadrilateral has all sides that are equal? We've been a creative arts family for almost four years now. Our oldest is in fourth grade and our youngest is in first grade. And as a school overall, we're so happy as parents because of the immersive learning that the school provides. Our kids are engaged in all the activities, clubs, and they come home inspired. The infused teaching process that the school has provided to them not only makes our kids thrive on a daily basis, it makes us as parents want to get involved as well. Do you have more than 10? Research indicates that students are better able to retain information if they can make a meaningful and real-world connection with the content being presented. By weaving elements of the arts into the subjects of math, reading, and language arts, science, and social studies, we are able to accomplish this goal. We're learning about Michelangelo so we can figure figure out what's happening in a book we're reading. And we're making sculptures out of soap. I made a shark because my dad's a fisherman and he catches a lot of sharks in one day in the summertime and I caught sharks and held them. It's really fun to fish and catch sharks. We are also focused on providing learning interventions within our classrooms through data-driven small group arrangements that allow us to focus on the differentiated needs of each child to meet them where they are and push them forward in their mastery of the learning standards. I've loved the small groups that they offer here and the classrooms. My son has had some, you know, he was the kindergarten COVID class, so we've had some struggles and just the teacher's ability to be able to differentiate instruction to very, you know, levels of learners has really helped him kind of make up some lost ground. And I just remember growing up in class, it was everyone sitting in their desks and all being taught the same stuff, regardless of were you ahead of the material or behind the material? So I think that is such a, a wonderful aspect of the school that they can differentiate learning to different levels of learners in the classroom. We were doing something called shared inquiry where a group of people discuss a book or something that they've read and they discuss their opinions and they discuss questions that they've had about it and everything in between that. What level of questioning would that be? When we're reading with different groups, we're hearing other people's opinions besides just ours and the teachers. And like in most of our groups, we have about four or five people. So there's like a bunch of different opinions and it gets into like a really good conversation about the book. I think it helps understand because it helps hear other people's opinions. Cause you might have one opinion and another person might have another opinion that's completely different from yours. And it, it helps people open up about what they think and what they've read. I just think the staff is great. Everyone is so involved and they really do care about the kids. They love our kids. And just to see that level of engagement from the staff is just amazing. And the work that the kids do, it's so wonderful to see these amazing projects that the teachers do and work on in class.